Okay, here's what you need to know. If you're going to take apart the 70s era Inger Beaver 10 inch chainsaw, you have to take it all the way apart to the carburetor right there, free of this housing to make any adjustments. So it's a full disassembly every single time. So now for the faint of heart. <clears throat> okay, here's the heart of the eager beaver. Now I've tried to keep it intact. Okay, this little link rod here. <laughs> That's the fun part. Hooking it back up on the inside. But anyway, I've grabbed the fan. That's what this is. These are the releases for the starter. So anyway, you see, I have the carburetor exposed to this point, and I now know what I did wrong was I left, see how you can see that? Dead center. That is the part that pulls up the needle. Okay, now they have a fancy uh, gauge, but I'm going to try to do it off the way the gauge looks. Let's see if I'm lucky enough to get this thing running. <laughs> okay, what I figured out is, if you look here, it's hard to look at the camera and the thing at the same time. See that? Now if you barely pull up on that eagle, watch the center. That square they cut out is to let that push on that diaphragm. So it's got to be in there pretty good. See, can't see it. See it. Can't see it. See it. So sit right in that range. Okay, tech tip. This little, right here, this little rod. That's part of the carburetor linkage. See it moving? Okay, tech tip 2.2. See that little square, not square, but cross hatch uh, circle thing there? That's the fuel line that feeds the carburetor. It notches in right there, and you can get it connected to the carburetor, get the linkage attached all at the same time just you know double check your line I can't even show you because it's so small but once you have it push it back in place and then the tank will slide onto the hole and you'll be good to go okay tech tip see that little piece moving there's a rod that rod goes to the carburetor you need to put that in at this point, right here. Slide it in the housing, get the chain ready. Okay, and as far as snapping it in, all I can tell you is have some fun. Okay, tech tip 2.2. See that little square, not square, but cross hatch uh, circle thing there? That's the fuel line that feeds the carburetor. It notches in right there, and you can get it connected to the carburetor, get the linkage attached all at the same time. Just, you know, double check your line. I can't even show you because it's so small, but once you have it, push it back in place, and then the tank will slide onto the hole, and you'll be good to go. Okay, mixture, low and high, one and a quarter. Good start. Okay, 
model 600-123B, uh, 11-019052.